Hey guys, it's me, Ingenerea. It's another topic for today and I will be discussing another topic under surveying. The topic that I'm going to discuss is all about distance by pacing. So let's start our discussion. Course objective. At the end of this topic, you will be able to learn what is phase factor and what are the different methods in making linear measurements. Understand the process on how to solve a problem. First, we are going to talk about measurements of horizontal distance and different methods in making linear measurements. In surveying, distance between two points is a measurement of horizontal distance. There are different methods for making linear measurements. There are various methods of making linear measurements and their relative merit depends upon the degree of precision required. Methods can be mainly divided into three heads. First, direct measurement. Second, optical method. Third, electronic method. In the case of direct measurement, distances are directly measured on the ground with the help of a chain or tape. Measuring the distance directly as below. Pacing, measurement with basometer, measurement with pedometer, measurement by odometer and speedometer, and the last is chaining. Measurements of distances by pacing are chiefly combined to the preliminary surveys and exploration where a surveyor is called upon to do a rough survey as quickly as possible. The method consists of counting the number of paces between the two points of a line. Pasometer is an instrument shaped like a watch that is carried either in the packet or attached to one leg. A pedometer is a device similar to the pasometer except that adjusted to the length of the pace of the person carrying it. It registers the total distance covered by any number of paces. The odometer is an instrument for registering the number of revolutions of a wheel. The well-known speedometer works on this principle. Chaining is a term that is used to denote measuring distance either with the help of a chain or a tape and is the most accurate method of making direct measurements. In the optical method, observations are taken through a telescope and calculations are done for the distances such as in tachometer or triangulation. Tachometer, stadia, is the common term in the USA. It's a surveying method utilized to quickly determine the horizontal distance to an elevation of a point. In the electromagnetic method, distances are measured with the instrument that rely on propagation, reflection, and subsequent reception of either radio waves, light waves, or infrared waves. The main instrument for surveyors on site today is the total station. It is an instrument that combines the angle measurements that could be obtained with a traditional theodolite with electronic distance measurements. In this topic, we are going to focus our discussion on distance by pacing. When we say pacing, it is a distance between two points that can be approximately be determined by counting the number of paces and multiplying it with the average length of the pace. Let us look at the figure. Pacing can be measured toe-to-toe -to -toe and heel-to-heel. -to -heel. One step is equivalent to one pace. The double step is called stride. One stride is equivalent to two phases. To compute the phase factor, here is the formula. Phase factor is equal to the distance or the length over the average number of paces. So let's have an example. The example is a surveyor wanted to know his phase factor, so he walked along a line of 50 meters long with the following recorded number of phases, 75, 73.50, 74, and 73. 
He then took 515, 513, 50, 518, 560.50 50 paces in walking an unknown distance. Which of the following most nearly gives the length of the second line? We have the following choices. A. 349.07 meters B. 330.74 meters C. 338.04 meters D. 347.66 meters Here is the solution for this example. We have the formula which is pace factor is equal to the distance or the length over the average number of paces. Let's solve first the average number of paces. We have 75 plus 73.50 plus 74 plus 73 divided by 4. The average number of paces is equal to 73.875 paces. Now let's compute the phase factor. Since we have all the values, let's substitute those values. The phase factor is equal to 50 over 73.875. The phase factor is equal to 0 0.67681895095 meter per pace. Since we have the phase factor, we can compute the second line, but let's compute first the average number of paces for the second line. We have 515 plus 513.50 plus 518 plus 516.50 divided by 4. The average number of paces is equal to 515.75 paces. Again, let's substitute those values to solve the second line. The phase factor is 0 0.67681895095 is equal to a known length over the new average number of paces, which is 515.75. Or you can simply multiply the phase factor by the average number of paces. The unknown length is equal to 349.07 meters. The final answer for this example is letter A, 349.07 meters. We have another example here. The next example is a line 100 meters long was faced four times by a surveyor with the following data, 143, 146.50, 142.50 and 144. Another line was spaced four times by the same surveyor with the following data 894.50, 892, 891.50, and 895. Which of the following most nearly gives the length of the line? A. 605 meters, B. 612.62 meters. C. 620.13 meters D. 629.18 meters In this example, you will be the one to answer it. I will upload the solution on Google Drive so that you can check your answer. For the link, I will put in in the description box. This is the end of our topic for today. I hope you guys learned something new about this topic. If you have any questions about this topic, just comment down below or message me through my Facebook page and I'll try my best to answer it. Thank you for watching it. Bye!